What is going on guys, Sid here with another FIFA 21 video and welcome to the RTG on this channel. So guys, it is Sunday, July 4th on the East Coast. It's 1.14 a.m. right now, right, in New York. And guys, uh, I spent uh, 12 hours yesterday, right, 12 hours grinding this game. I want to hurl myself off a cliff and guys, do you want to know why I spent 12 hours? Because I had to search for Finnish and Hungarian players in packs, right? Um, bronze pack method for Finnish players. Guys, um, I'm going to give you a warning right now because um, I did my first go around of League SBCs because yesterday what ended up happening was that I got a new set of players that I tried out, right? But what ended up happening was that I was so low on sleep, right? That I got dizzy while playing the match in Rivals, right? So I was going to test it out and it was like a false start. So I'm feeling really good right now. Like I got up not too long ago, probably like 11 p.m. I got up, right? Um, instantly did my carb load. Um, uh, did my nutritional load and uh, I'm probably gonna train at 3 a.m. But yesterday, yesterday when I m was making the video like halfway in between like doing my rivals, like um, I started getting dizzy. So then I, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me take a break from that and um, let me do some SBCs, right? Because I have a new team for you guys, right? Some new players in my team. Right in my starting squad, and it's absolutely wild, right? Uh, so I sold off my Neuer. I will get to that in a second because I'm all over the place right now for some reason. So in any case, uh, this European SBC, uh, avoid, right? I mean, do it one go around for like only the, the 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 cheap packs. Like you get a free, like essentially a free premium gold players pack, a rare election players pack. But when it comes time to finishing this SBC. Finnish players. If you guys ever pack Finnish players, hold on to them, and if they're tradable, sell them ASAP. Because they, this has got to be like one of the most expensive SBCs. Like this Finnish SBC alone, um, costs an ultimate pack, right? This SBC alone, right, um, can cost you up to an ultimate pack. This Hungary. Um, these packs you just absolutely want to avoid and if you pull them in bronze pack method there you already know They're worth a fortune. So if you grind the menus, you're gonna know this right if you grind the store You're gonna know that um So yeah with that being said right I got it done and I'm gonna show you how bad my ultimate pack was I'm actually gonna save that for the ending of this video But right now I really just want to continue trying out these new players i want to get a good impressions on them and i already have an impression of how some of them play right already so right off the bat let's let's start off with locatelli right okay so he's 511 four four star three star medium medium he disappears sometimes right in the match but as a cdm he's absolutely golden right um his dribbling and passing are superb his first touch is amazing right in game it shows up so Locatelli, I love this damn card. He's perfect for my starting squad. And guys, lo and behold, uh, so I sold off Neuer, right? Did Spinazzola, Spinazzola, right? Um, I got Spinazzola off, off the transfer market. How much did I pay? 166,000 coins. He is beautiful, right? Um, I've played two games with him. Um, one resulted in a rage crit and one draw, right? But um, that's the match that I was getting dizzy. So we were initially trying out Spinosola, but um, yesterday. But then I got dizzy like halfway in, in between the match, right? Because it was like late and I was getting tired of grinding and just grinding and grinding and grinding. So right now I'm fresh, I'm recovered, and I want to go again. Give this card another go around. Because right now, this card is perfect on my left-hand side. End game. I feel the potential. I feel the potential and we're trying him out right and same goes for yashin i've played two games with him i have the footage but i'm not gonna upload the footage i want to get a footage from when i'm fresh i'm fresh right now and i want to try out these players so i did yashin before the sbc expired and i got rid of my neuer i didn't really think think of it too big of a deal plus i really wanted to to round out my left-handed side right uh so with locatelli spinazzola and yashin i want to get into a match right now and at the ending of this match i'm going to show you how bad my ultimate pack was yesterday but um guys um we're gonna have some fun we're gonna have some fun we're gonna climb back up into d2 and then officially 
just start I, I want to I keep saying this but we're gonna have to start going balls to the wall crazy because the team is almost all set and there should be no problems no hiccups with grinding up it's just finding the damn time and not making stupid errors not rushing matches so let's get into the first match let's go all right so this recording takes place after the fact after the match took place so this is the first go around we're only playing two matches in rivals right now because i want to get to the ultimate pack at the end of this video um but guys look at the first team right um i've came across this guy before uh so i know his potential um uh you know a lot of these guys like you mat like in terms of matchmaking if you play long enough you you come across them again right and this guy has a very specific name so he's got a great end game team um the right winger winger side obviously he changes in game um but uh he's got um a version of uh icon ronaldo right so um right off the bat we start off uh latoro martinez takes it to the end cuts inside uh erickson five star weak foot right so doesn't matter which side he takes it on erickson puts it away at the five minute mark and we're off to a guns blazing start um very much so feeling fresh right i'm definitely feeling fresh in this match as it's happening right um but uh my opponent is really really good like like um uh it has to be said like uh i don't think that anyone playing uh rivals right now um will not be good it's only skilled players playing fifa at this stage of the game right because it's end game and only the people with end game teams you know if if they've put in money or whatever usually when they've grinded like crazy you know um yeah uh it's only it's only high level players right it doesn't even matter the divisions right if we're being honest the only difference is uh some people are just more consistent in, in, in terms of selecting when to do their matches right so um i did a lot of defensive work right a lot of defensive work and a lot of shooting right my, my shooting was extremely accurate in this in this match right um five shots uh taken five on target right and honestly i felt like if he didn't have oblock in his back um you know that, that would have been five goals in the first half right um but he does tie it up with uh he ties it up as you can see with um his ronaldo right he puts it puts away a beautiful finesse but i really did feel like the shots that i took i didn't i had to clip the video i wanted to make it under a certain time so a, a lot of you know a lot of the footage i did have to you know cut away from but a lot of the shots that were on target were shots that had it been any other goalkeeper right um that would have been in the back of the net right because look tackles are uh, virtually the same right shots virtually the same right it's just um i was very selective with my shots in this match right and like i'm just like like like, like around this uh second half point i just remember the feeling of like like i made a mistake here right defensively speaking on on this on peace check side right um but I just, that should have, you know, uh, Yashin should have uh, saved that a little better, but, you know, it's a rebound goal, right? Um, so he makes it 2-1. And right here, like, I'm, I, I'm just feeling, like, like I was feeling, like, some dread in this match. Like, I'm, like, thinking to myself, yo, this match is not going the way I expected it. My my left hand aside locatelli and spinazzola are playing absolutely perfect defensively but you know um i was just getting frustrated right and there there look at this like um like for some reason like my my shots were not going in and it was starting to annoy the hell out of me right i don't know why that was going on like and it, it had to come down to the goalkeeper right it had to be oblock making these incredibly like 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 glitch like saves right and it was just really really frustrating but then this happens i take a volley with delict right and i didn't even realize delict was going forward right but he managed to make it 2-2 at the 60 minute mark and uh kind of like my 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 fortune uh, you know it was a complete reversal of fortune right i thought i was going to be down on my luck even though i was playing better in the match right you could feel how hard i was going in the match i was definitely playing better was definitely playing better right uh excuse excuse that uh the clip i had to cut but yeah um messi slots it away right at the 63rd minute and uh the little magician does it again guys Three, two it is. Who would have predicted? 
This guy had no business even scoring two goals. And, like, no offense to this guy, but this match was, like, completely... What the hell was this match? That was so weird. But, um, I mean, did you guys just see that match? Like, eight shots, seven on target from him. Like, I know he's attacking, but the defending uh, didn't make any sense at all. Um, Oblak is that good? Like, Oblak has to be, like, one of the best keepers in the world. Um, this volley, like, I had to pull this volley out of hell, right? With delay of all people, right? I didn't even realize he was going up, but Messi with the game winner, but that was so weird because I had so many shots on target in this match. It should not have been as close as it was. That was so damn weird, but 12 tackles a piece. My opponent was good, but so strange. The, the finishing was really, really poor, and I felt like I had no control over that, and a lot of those shots felt like I should have put those through like so strange you always have those games there's always one of those games but in any case that's the first match let's take a quick breather and get into the second match all right so we're right on into the second match now and um took a quick bathroom break and uh you know oh man i'm feeling really really stoked because how this team is playing is just absolutely it's just gorgeous, right? So this is a foot champs level opponent, which is you know usually the case. Um, so um, I, I'm not fooled by the Puyol in the back line, uh, but we start off uh, pretty much identical starts, right? So um, between the first match and the second match, right? Um, the only difference is uh, that's a rebound goal, uh, but Latoro Martinez puts it away, and um, this was another match, right? Where I'm just not finishing my chances as coolly and calmly as I normally do but um in terms of uh the second match the midfield battle right I did clip the video but um the midfield battle and the defensive battle in this match extremely extremely defensive both of us both of us right definitely definitely facing a quality opponent and um yeah Locatelli did the business in the midfield uh Spinazzola interception wise uh, defending wise and just um, being in the correct position defensively uh, a lot my, my whole back line you know um, like right there my opponent's like dribbling like crazy and he's looking for an opening and he's looking for the perfect shot and I'm looking for the perfect tackle so Tapsaba um, takes the ball away it was one of the cleanest tackles inside the boxes that I've ever done so I wanted to highlight that but um yeah uh, guys uh, what can you say right like Definitely, definitely just on fire since I got up. Um, definitely not tired from grinding like a madman, right? Grinding uh, in-game and trying to find finished players and all that jazz. But yeah, I put it away, make it 2-0, right? But um, right here, I start like, um, I start hesitating on my shots, right? And um, it became more apparent, right? Like I was doing the business like defensively, like for the re the remainder of this match, right? Between Locatelli, between Spinazzola, between Desai. Desai came up big. Uh, the passing with Spinazzola, he's absolutely perfect. I just have to get used to passing. Um, we're in the second half now. I had, I just have to get used to passing with um his right foot rather because most of my left backs i've been passing his left right um he does have four star weak foot but you know it still shows up in game so it's just a little little things like that you have to get used to right so you're not passing on the weak foot um but spinazzola he shuts down the defenders right um every single time locatelli perfect he's everywhere he's everywhere he does disappear from time to time but he paired with um my essien he's everywhere he's he's everywhere he needs to be Oddly enough, I don't use his skill moves, right? Uh, which is weird. Uh, but yeah. So right here, I make a mistake, right? Um, defensively, I just think, um, like, I switch off. And Tapsuba's, like, a little, you know, he's a little tired. But I didn't change Tapsuba. I changed Zakaria instead because Zakaria, as a CDM super sub, he's he's just like Essien. He's like Essien 2.0, right? Um, so really, really great super sub, right? Uh, and I explained, uh, I explained 
previously that Arthur, his body type lets him down in the CDM role, right? Um, I do have that card and he is higher rated on paper, but how he plays in game for me personally, I don't like it, right? Essien feels big in game, Zakaria feels big in game, Locatelli feels big in game, right? So yeah, um, guys, the match kind of ends, right? Um, 2 1, right? And it was really, really defensive. All right, so the second match, my opponent had the lion's share of possession. Latoro Martinez should have put away a couple well more chances than he did. Um, not too many chances in this game. Relatively boring second match. Hmm, should we play a third match? But the thing is, like, you can tell. Like, you can tell how the team's playing, right? They're consist the consistency in the back, the consistency in the midfield, you get the idea of how they play. Uh, Locatelli, Spinazzola, you already know they're great. And um, goalies, uh, goalies are pretty much a shot in the dark, right? Like, um, sometimes you get a good game with them, sometimes you don't. Um, you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave it. We get two games with them, we get a good idea of how, you know, the, two, the, the teams play, right? And... Perfectly enough, right? We finish an objective, so we're gonna open up. We're gonna open up this pack, see if we get anything from this pack, and then from there, um, I'll show you what I got in my ultimate pack yesterday that just made me just rage and go to sleep, right? So I'm gonna show you that right at the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys had fun, right? We played two games, got an impression of how Locatelli, Spinazzola, and Lev Yashin play. So, um, right off the bat, how Spinazzola feels in game um, as a left back. Um, absolutely remarkable. Best City A uh, defender, uh, best City A uh, left back um, in the game. Uh, definitely, hands down. Um, the reason I put a shadow on him, uh, by the way, his defensive awareness goes, you know, as high as it possibly can for a left back. That's so so vital. That stat is so vital in this game. It's not even funny. Interceptions as well. Stand tackle. I'm not really a slide tackle guy, but um, yeah, accelerations there and the defending is jacked right uh physicality i wish you know i i was hoping to play with an anchor right but the way the game plays people burn you with even like the most minute it's it's literal like at this level it's you guys already know right like we're, we're we're preaching to the choir everybody already understands this it's the mind it's the minute little differences in stats that make or break you know a player right in key areas in the field so that's why I went for the shadow, right? I don't want to get burned on my left or right hand side. And of course, we get another crap pack, right? Because that's all this game dishes out, just crap and crap and crap. And it's the 1%, 0.001% chance, off chance that you get something absolutely brilliant. So guys, I'm gonna clip the ultimate pack in here. So you guys are gonna see what that experience was like as well. So guys, um, yeah. So back to what I'm saying, uh, Spinazzola, I'm giving like my initial impression, I'm giving a 10 out of 10. The card is absolutely amazing and it's absolutely dirt cheap. Where were you all my life? You know, my left hand side is now complete, right? 166,000 coins is an absolute steal for that card. I kid you not, you're gonna shut down, you know, a lot of chances that your opponent thinks they have on that left-hand side with Spinazzola if you're running a city outside. Locatelli, um, he's a he's a beast. He's he's an absolute beast in the CDM role. Um, paired with Essien. And body type does affect your CDMs. It affects every player, but definitely in your CDMs and your defenders, you need big, big body types, right? Um, the more agile Arthur, right? Um his body type in game, it shows up, right? Um, so it's the minute differences there you can feel in game. So Arthur is good, but he's not great. He's not exceptional in that CDM role. Uh, Locatelli, I'm also gonna give maybe like a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5, 9.6 out of 10. The only thing that would have made it better is if the work rates were high, 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 right? Or medium high, right? That would have been better for a CDM role the way I play, but medium, medium works well too, right? Um, so 9.5 to 9.6 for Locatelli initial impressions. Uh, Spinazzola, 10 out of 10, left back uh, easily. Yashin, uh, solid, solid 8.59, right? Um, off of how many games? Four games played, yeah, that seems about right. All right guys, 
cheers. Um, we've got like what four skill uh, uh, skill rating points before we're back up in D2, and then you make the climb to D1, right? So no losing spiral. Played when I was fresh. No dizzy effect. Uh, now I've got to get to training, right? We get this beautiful Europe completed. Okay, thank you. Uh, we get this beautiful ultimate pack. It's untradeable, which sucks. But we are really just looking for one of the festival of football um, Summer Stars players, right? Because they're all jacked. So let's just get this pack out the way and get to the one big boy pack of this video, right? <sighs> Alright, here we go. Nothing there. Nothing there. Is it a tradable pack? Right? That's going to be the question because... Um... Yeah, it's tradable, so I'm just going to send everything up to the transfer list because I'm going to have to bronze back with this whole thing. And we're going to show you what the team's looking like after we open this. But guys, here we go. Absolute madness. Crossing my fingers. I need the fodder, right? What? I just spent over 24 hours for this. What? Okay, Vitzel, Hyatt, and a whole bunch of 81s. It's gotta be one of the worst ultimate packs I've ever seen in my life.